as always to give us a his mid-cap stock of the day. There was a lot of talk last week from market veteran Ramdeo Agarwal and the road minister Nitin Gadkari on the Euro 6 norms, Nigel. What's the stock on your radar? Well, Sonia, the stock that I'm talking about has been a bit of an underperformer, but as you said, positive commentary has been coming in, and the stock I'm talking about is Federal Mogul Goets. What does the company do? They make pistons. They have close to around 40% in terms of uh, market share, and also majority of their current sales they are with regard to Euro 3 norms. Remember, we are going to be migrating to around uh, Euro 6 by 2020, and that's really where the opportunity does lie, if in fact uh, that does play out. So where's the opportunity? As you said, Sonia, the Ministry of Road, as well as uh, Road Transport and Highways, they have said that we're going to be migrating from uh, Bharat Stage 4 to Euro 6. That means that, in fact, the pistons as well will have to change. And just at our CNBC TV 18 auto uh, summit last week, we had that kind of commentary coming in from Nitin Gadkari as well. He said that, in fact, uh, they have also submitted a scrappage policy to the finance minister. So all this bodes well because they make pistons that adhere to Euro 6 uh, norms. Moving on, uh, then it's the only MNC in India that will get uh, the technology coming in for its parent. We have other piston makers that try to reach out to a few of them, but they'll be borrowing the technology coming in from global, uh, from global uh, makers whereas Federal Mogul will be getting it from its parent itself. Who is its parent? Um, uh, also, Sonia, we have to keep in, keep in mind uh, the monsoons. So much of talk about the monsoons. So if monsoons does play out, they get more than 50% coming in from commercial vehicles as well as from tractors. So that will help its cause. But talking about the parent then, the parent is Federal Mogul Corporation. That holds close to around 75% stake in the current listed company. Reliance Capital as well holds roughly around 8.5%, and LIC holds nearly around 2%. But the parent is 82% owned by uh, investor Carl Icahn, and we know what he has done over the last few years. In early 2011 or thereabouts, he would try to sell the company. Now, if that happens, if in case it happens, there's no confirmation whatsoever. But as per SEBI rules, that will trigger a mandatory open offer even in the Indian listed company. That's only if it happens. But as things stand, he's trying to delist that company. In that case, there's no real big change uh, to, to the Indian listed company. He's up the price as well from around $7 to around eight dollars uh, moving on then to the peer comparison i was looking at it and i said it's fairly expensive because it trades at around 40 times its trailing earnings but all the all the stocks uh, if you take a look at it from the similar segment all of them trade at around 30 to around 76 times something like a timkin india but you look closer and if you compare the market capitalization to the sales you'll see that then in fact it may not look very very expensive because it's trading at 1x in comparison to market to sales also ev upon a beta if you took look at it on that front it's trading at around 12 and a half, 13 times uh, EV upon sales. While we have Bosch, that's trading at around 35 times, 20 times. So it's not very cheap, but you look at a couple of parameters and you get somewhat of a mixed uh, signal. What are the drawbacks? If things are looking so good, then in FI16, why did we get a degrowth coming in from there? You compare FI16 in comparison to FI15, you'll see there was a degrowth. What if all these norms don't really play out? Then, uh, then maybe things will not really play out. And aluminum is a key raw material. So those prices have been moving up, could dent the margins finally. There is uh, a bit of a land bank as well that I found uh, online, uh, around 50 acres. Value, we don't get much of a value, but in case of expansion, et cetera, maybe that could bode well. An interesting stock, but more a long-term play. Okay, Nigel, thanks a lot for that. Uh